Hey, good morning. Welcome to your Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Please continue to like, subscribe, share this channel, refer this channel. I certainly do appreciate you. We're coming into the end of 2022. It's been an eventful year, not a great year, and I don't believe it will continue to be a great year for the free world as we know it. There are a lot of reasons why I'm saying this, and in order to predict the future, you have to look at the past. In January 31st, 2022, George Soros gave an interview, or actually gave a speech, at the Hoover Institute, Institute, and he made a lot of predictions. Many of them are very accurate, on the mark, and correct. George Soros is the founder of Open Border Society. I do not appreciate that, but the, but the gist of it, without getting into the weeds, is he believes everybody should be able to travel anywhere they want in the world and do whatever they want in that country. Nobody owns a country. There shouldn't be any borders. If you're in the United States, you should be able to wander into Canada. In other words, no sovereignty. The world belongs to everyone, and that's not true. But that being said, George Soros holds a lot of sway because he is a very rich man and done very well without my opinion. In this January 31st, 2020 speech, monologue, whatever you want to call it, is on the internet. You can look it up under Open Border Society. George Soros made some comments that I've written down. I have notes. And one of the comments, it's not direct quoting, but it's pretty accurate. America was once a superior nation, but no longer. The rise of AI will dominate the world and take over governments. Governments cannot compete with, with it, meaning AI, but only AI could compete with other AI, such as, and he gave examples, Google, Facebook, and other social media. He said this in January 31st, 2022, and what is now coming to light with Twitter, and I guarantee you every other social media with censorship. And censorship isn't just a way of shutting down people. It's also a roadmap, paving the way for what I'm going to talk about now as well. He said America was once great, and I believe him. Your AI, and I don't mean like the Terminator where you have robots or anything else, and neither does he. Artificial intelligence, meaning social media, your computers, and everything else associated with technological advances is going to dictate to you and me what our future holds, how we interact, how we talk, how we spend our money, what we can do and what we cannot do. And that is rushing towards us at a supersonic pace. AI is particularly good at suppressing its masses. And that's another quote from George Soros. And he is absolutely correct. We see that in censorship through YouTube, Twitter, Google, altering how you search things how the results are, swaying your thoughts, changing your actions, changing your directions, not only physically, but mentally, changing that. When we go that route, we are paving the way for the next phase. And the next phase is what he predicted back in 2009. George Soros interviewed 20, October 23rd, 2009. Need a new world order. China has to be a part of it and own it. It is not necessarily in our own best interest to have the dollar as its sole currency. It is in our own interest to reform the system. And again, the question I ask of you is who is our? Who is we that he is referring to? Who is the other party? He's not speaking in the third party. It is in our own best interest, meaning there are other people in this new world agenda that are looking to collapse 
the American dollar, change the system in order to pave the way for a new world order, how we do business. And he directly involves China saying they're going to emerge and they are going to be a huge part of it. So let me, let me give you a slight indication of what's taking place right now, this very day. India and Russia have agreed to trade buy in oil rupees, replacing the dollar. Why is that? They're they're circumventing well the uh, the uh, but ban. United States has put on ban in buying Russian oil. So they said, okay, we're not going to use the petrodollar, the American dollar, to buy oil. Russia has signed a treaty with us that we could trade in rupees and rubles, and we will have commerce back and forth. Sri Lanka has agreed to that. In theory, Bangladesh and other countries have said, yeah, okay, we don't care about the war in Ukraine. What we care about is being able to buy oil so that we can heat our homes and cook our meals with and refine it and run our cars. We don't care about that. China has signed a deal with Saudi Arabia to buy oil in the Chinese dollar, the yuan, replacing the dollar. Other countries are looking to do their own individual currency deals with that. And what would happen if suddenly everybody says, you know what? We're sick of the United States telling us what to do. We're sick of the United States bragging. We're sick about all of this kind of crap. We're going to do our own deal with the people directly. We'll talk to Putin. We don't care about his war with Ukraine, right or wrong. Our people need fertilizer through oil. Our people need to drive around. Our people need heating. So if Russia is willing to trade with us, we're going to use our own currency. What would that do to the American dollar? It would send it crashing because right now it's a fiat currency, meaning it has no value other than what we place on it. And approximately 77 trillion American dollars are being held around the world in foreign country banks. Now, India says, don't worry, United States, we'll still use your dollar. This is just to get around the embargo which you placed on the Soviet Union. We'll trade, we'll trade in dollars with something else. But we want the rupee to be in the trading basket for oil. That's another big hit to the American currency. Let me tell you something else. China has also demanded that the United States dollar be replaced with their currency because... They say their economy is going, going to be far stronger than the United States. What is that telling you? What is that telling you? Joe Biden and this administration is on the wrong track with a Green New Deal in which China is exempt. They don't have to abide by any of these secret agreements by putting solar panels on. China says, we'll sell you all the solar panel and electric batteries you want because we control the market on rare earths. Other people can see what Joe Biden is doing to us, but we don't have the wherewithal to put a stop to it because AI is controlling us. They are going to go to a digital currency. The United States is already doing a dry run, a practice run in New York for 12 weeks with a lot of the major players doing a theoretical digital currency. China has already instituted it and is already controlling a majority of their population by using digital currency. You have to have a certain credit score. Again, AI, artificial intelligence, controlling your actions, your thoughts, your directions. I have to abide by what the government says so I can get a deposit into my digital wallet 
and buy whatever, noodles, bread, whatever they say I can buy. Other countries are trying the same experiment right now. India as well. England is going to go digital. And I'll tell you why they're going to go digital. They just had a woman prime minister elected and held office for about 30 days. The guy that replaced her, Richie Sunak, I believe I'm saying his name right, was controller of the Bank of England and the money in Great Britain. He regulated it. He also gave a speech at the World Economic Forum saying digital currency will replace the British pound shortly. And that is the adva advantageous way to go. Guess who's the prime minister right now? The very same guy who controlled the currency, Richard Sunak. He is now the prime, uh, prime minister of England. Guess what he's pushing? Digital currency. This can go on and on and on. Biden signed the executive order, and it's now a practice run in New York. George Soros said AI is going to control the governments, and look what is happening. In order to have digital currency in effect and be effective, AI has to be in control and censor your actions, your thoughts, your words for it to be effective. And that is the direction they are going. Obama said he wanted to fundamentally change America. Biden says, here, let me take the reins and I can do it for you by flooding <coughs> America with people we don't know, don't know who they are, don't hold our values, don't speak our language for the most part, poorly educated, poor health-wise, but are willing to do what the government tells them to do because that's how they were born and raised. Even though they're leaving a country of suppression, supposedly, they said, we know that system, we know how it works, we can manipulate it and try it here in the United States. It's a grim prophecy, but everything is lining up. Soros said Russia will go into Ukraine and Joe Biden will say, and did say, he's going to make him pay a price but not go to war. I don't know about that. Tucker Carlson's been saying the United States is the one that sabotaged the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, causing economic harm to Russia. And it makes sense that the United States said that, so that way they have to force the Green New Deal on the EU, and the EU is gladly obliging, saying, hey, we're going to go solar wind, and we don't care if you freeze. And the people in Germany and other people, other places, are cutting down whole forests to start fires, are sitting in their apartments in blackout cold, but they don't care. They want to institute control, and that's what they're doing. And Joe Biden's doing it here, completely ignoring the open border crisis, completely ignoring the fuel shortages, the prices. He said, okay, we'll drain the reserves till it's empty. And then when that's gone, yeah, we'll see what, if we can replace it. You better start thinking ahead if you're going to be a prepper. You better start preparing because pretty soon the censorship, just like happened to me on this channel, is going to come across nationwide, and we've already seen it. Get yourself ready. In order to secure what freedoms you have left, you have to be able to eat and buy, sell, and trade, and they're going to control that. Have enough food till you can find your footing, till we can see what direction we need to go to put people in place that will stand with us for our Constitution, fight for us, 
I want you to get yourself right with God. That's a priority because they're going to ban God. Get yourself baptized, submerged in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Greg out.